yeah, I think the first first record I bought was uh, uh, put like a collection of Buddy Holly songs, and that was um, you know that was um, you know my first like introduction into like rock and roll, and you know, and that that yeah, I, I guess that played a, a part in um, you know my life, I guess. The song I'd, I'd well the, see the the song that I'd wish I'd written. Uh, there isn't one because it's bad written, it wouldn't sound nowhere near as good as, <laughs> as it already does, so yeah, there you go. Is there a song, a song I don't listen to anymore, or I can't listen to anymore? Um, I guess it'd be like, you know, something from when I was like, like more of a kid, like maybe like some Green Day tune or something like, some of their stuff's still really good, but it's like, you know, I think it was that American Idiot album was a, was a time and a place, but so much now, I mean, Duke is still great, so. So yeah, I guess it's something off that record, maybe. <laughs> Song guaranteed to make me dance, well, it'd probably be like, you no, know, probably be like some soul, like, uh, well, I don't, <coughs> I don't dance, but uh, if there's one tune, it'd be like, um, I don't know, Marvin Gaye, I Want You, pretty, pretty good tune. The track that, um, I think it was Harvest Moon by Neil Young when I first heard that riff. It was just like pretty sweet, and the melody is amazing. It's just like then he's got so many good songs. So I guess that was a that was a big inspiration. At the time. Backstage when I'm uh, when I'm backstage before I go on, um, I might like uh, I don't know usually mess around, ch chuck a few uh, heavy metal riffs in there or something, and like uh, yeah, something to get you a bit hyped up. Um, but before when I'm warming up, I usually go for a few country or blues numbers or something like that. Got to be an ABBA tune, and it? it's got to be like the day before you came by ABBA or something. What a tune! Great tune. First song I ever remember hearing is um, well, I can't remember the exact title because it usually has a lot of obscure ones. And I think I was about three years old, and I was watching a, I was watching a Jean-Michel Jarre concert, and that was like the first, first thing. And I've still, I still got a thing for that, like him and like Van Gallis, and because when I was a kid, I didn't like music, but I like music that didn't have any words in it, like they didn't, they didn't have any words, so I think it was like, um, I think it was Revolution by Jean Jean or something weird like that. That's the first, I think. The song that's going to be played at my funeral, I've always wanted something ridiculously long, just to like, <laughs> just keep everyone there. I don't even know if I want a funeral, to be honest, it's like, I don't see the point of like people mourning over, over my death, it's like, it seems ridiculous, the idea, to be honest, so. I don't think I'd have one, to be honest. Mm -hmm.